Hi, everybody. Liz will be with Signature College Counseling. So this week's Tuesday Talks with Liz, we're going to talk about what counts as an extracurricular activity for college admissions, which is a great question. Because, of course, you're, every student who applies to a college is going to have to list their activities on some level or another. And I always, uh, with every one of our students, create a student resume because there's many colleges that allow you to upload a resume as well. So it serves, that resume serves as a dual purpose to help you create your activities uh, on the applications that you're submitting, as well as having the ability to upload a resume to those schools that ask for it. So back to the question about what counts as an extracurricular activity for college admissions. So the standard items that you would think of, such as any athletics that you have, clubs that, you know, athletics that you participate in, clubs clubs for, at school that you're a member of, uh, clubs or uh, religious affiliation membership that you have outside of, um, outside of your academics, things that you are formally participating in. Um, in addition, if you take, if you have a summer job or if you have a job during the, the school year, those of course are something that's going to be added. I can't tell you, you know, I visit a lot of colleges and I speak to admissions officers when I'm there, when I'm there, along with when I, uh, when I attend my association's uh, meetings and conferences that college admissions officers say there's so few kids that have a job. So I strongly recommend that you get a job. Uh, for sure, uh, in, the, in the summer, you know, unless you're going to be away for most of the summer, but typically that's if you're going to be attending camp and then typically also that you're a counselor in training for that. So I definitely high, highly recommend um, a job. But there's also informal activities that you should also add uh, if you uh, enjoy music and you play the piano uh, or you have taught yourself um, another instrument like the ukulele, which seemed to have been very popular during the pandemic for kids to learn. If you're an avid reader, what you do, your interests and hobbies, because the resume, the activities, along with your primary essay and potentially supplemental essays, is the way for your application to come to life. Certainly the first thing that colleges are going to look at are your transcript, but they look at the activities to either to either balance out the rest of your application or show your interest in certain areas. So I, I'm always um, very happy uh, when a student's resume, when somebody can look at a student's resume and they know what they're passionate about, whether it's music, whether it's their athletics, whether it's the clubs that they belong to or cause that they've tried to further. If they, it's not, and what I will say, it is not about uh, breadth, meaning you have to check the box in all these different activities. Oh, I have to have volunteer work because I don't have volunteer work, but I'm really in a, I'm a three season athlete. Well, three season athlete may not really have much time to volunteer. Um, or if you're a three season athlete and one of the sports you participate in, you want to volunteer as a coach or a volunteer as a referee. Um, but it's not about breadth, it's about depth. Very, very, very important to remember that if you love music, then do more of it. If you love your sports, then do more of it. If you have a cause that you want to further, then do more of it. If you're passionate about students or children with special needs, then do more of it. Uh, don't just check off the box. Do what you enjoy and do more of it. So I hope this has helped explain what counts as an extracurricular activity for college admissions. Uh, Liz Levine with Signature College Counseling, making your college admissions journey easier to navigate.